cocked up by not remembering to bring a spacer for the disc brake pads. But just remember, old train tickets from the way down here, fold in half, they'll make some brilliant spacers. now 1am and I think I'm almost packed that's stuff going with me on hand luggage and there we go it is pretty poor got a lock on it though so hopefully that's all right I mean hopefully it survives hopefully they don't just lob it about it's pretty well packed there's loads of padding all around it like my clothes and shit but we'll see 1am in Gap wait this is Interesting, some guy's been yelled at for leaving his bag unattended. I'm just deciding whether I can be asked to get my sleeping bag out properly in the middle of this airport. I've done it before, but yeah, bag's packed, I'm ready to go. Got about three hours till check-in opens. Bit of an update, it's all gone a bit wrong. Flight's been cancelled and now they have rerouted re me via Frankfurt but I've got to fly from Heathrow instead. So they're getting me a taxi to Heathrow now. And then I'm flying at 8 a.m. and I won't get there till about 2 p.m. So I'm gonna to have to rethink my plans. There's no way I'm cycling 70 miles on no sleep at that time. It's just not gonna happen. Right, bed set up. Let's try and get a bit of sleep. <sighs> right, I'm now waiting for the service desk to open at four in the morning. It's currently quarter past three. I finally got it. I've been given 16 pounds on that taxi. So just trying to get some sleep. I think I'm gonna set an alarm for five and go then because my flight's at 8.30, which means a bit of check-in from quarter from half five. So I think I'll try and get to the ticket desk then and see what they can do for me and just check it's all actually been sorted by BA properly. Well, let's just hope this all goes to plan because I've never flown on a flight with a transfer before and definitely not doing it with a bike normally. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. So quick update, still waiting, but flight should be departing at half eight. It's about half seven now. Got the gate number, the plane's here. So let's hope. And then that's off to Frankfurt, and then got a two hour change in Frankfurt, and then finally Salzburg. Unfortunately, uh, it means we get there quite late, so I might have to use a train part way for today. But I've done a bit of looking, and I can I can jump pretty much halfway of what I was planning to ride on the train, getting in at about four o'clock, leaving me about three hours left to go. And then I should be at the campsite by seven. But it's been a journey. I mean, I've not even actually started yet. But yeah.
well, made it to Frankfurt. Next step, finding out where I'm going to go for this gate. I'm hoping they manage to load my bike onto the plane, okay? And try and get some food. So, yeah, a lot of stuff's happened today. So after all the flight stuff, I've made it to Salzburg, but as you notice, I'm not at the campsite in the mountains. And basically my bike didn't turn up at the airport. That was an absolute ordeal and I couldn't get through to customer services, BA were useless, they basically just told me, oh we can't do anything on the phone, you've got to do something in person, um, and they have no staff at that airport, so they couldn't do anything in person, and there was no phone number I could get through to them, but in the end, the uh, airport lost and found people, managed to get in touch with Frankfurt Airport, and they found it there, and they're putting on a flight, but it's not getting until 11.30 tonight, so <laughs> I've checked into a hostel in town, not cheap, 40 euros but it's a bed for the night and then uh, about 11 o'clock tonight I'm going to pop back to the airport, grab my bike, hopefully all there, bring it back, get set up and crack it tomorrow. I've managed to rebook, I've only, I've only booked the first three nights of campsites and I've managed to rebook them to the following days so it shouldn't alter the plans too much, just might make me get into the Tour de France, might be a bit of a stretch but I'll have to work around that, but yeah, I've got a night out in Salzburg now, so I'm going to go out and see the sights of the city. falling asleep very early um, I was only going to pick it up at 11 last night but I just fell asleep so I gave the lady a call at the airport and she'll just come along in the morning so it's quarter past seven it's going to jump on the bus and then I'm going to grab the bike get it built up and cycle back to the hostel and I'll sort myself out some breakfast but oh, it's been a journey got to pray it's all there in one piece I also need to remember it you're not just allowed to cross the road that's going to be dangerous <laughs> So you used to back home just like powering across the road wherever possible. Well, it's turned up. Let's hope it's in one piece. Well, it's in multiple pieces, but hopefully it goes back into one piece. Okay, well, we're moving, but I am honestly, I don't think I've ever been this confused in my life. So my back wheel had fallen apart, my cassette had fallen off and like the axle was completely cooked on it. Um, and then like there was a bike ship around the corner from the airport, popped in there, was like to the guy, I have no clue what's going on, like I, I when I put my wheel in a frame it, it clamps down too hard on the uh, on the axle and my cassette won't spin. So he ended up taking, I, I thought there was a spacer that had gone missing but actually it was the other way around according to him he took a spacer out and then it's working it seems to be working fine my gears aren't quite indexed properly I need to have a bit of a play with that but aside from that it seems to be functioning I've got a slight concerns that one of the um, rack mount points on my frame is starting to uh, have seen better days but I'm just going to get a shitload of zip ties and duct tape on it when I get to the hostel and yeah, just keep moving I think I'm probably not supposed to be on this road it seems to be a proper dual carriageway going under a tunnel but we'll see I'll see you at the hostel Right, so after an absolutely nightmarish start to this trip I'm finally all packed up so I think this is probably a good place to end this first video and I'm going to get moving, see you in the next one.